And a number of developments today in the trial against R. Kelly. Tia Ewing joins us from Studio 32 with more. Natalie and Corey, the judge decided that members of the jury will stay confidential because of fear of harassment. Also, there are claims being made by an attorney representing a former employee of R. Kelly. It's believed that the prosecuting assistant U.S. attorney, Angel Cruel, created an email back in April of 2019 to fish for information from a reporter. That reporter is Jim DeRogatis. He wrote a book on R. Kelly and has followed his alleged criminal behavior for decades. The emails indicate that the prosecutor used a burner email with the username Pied Piper 312 to create a Gmail account three months before R. Kelly was indicted. That same day, the prosecutor emailed DeRogatis, and that's when the journalist sent a copy of his book that wasn't released yet. Zero Goddess allegedly sent an email two weeks later asking if the book was any help and providing information about a prominent enabler. What I think is wrong here is that if the prosecutor is going to interact with the witness, you do it as the prosecutor. You know, you you don't secretly meet someone in a parking garage and hand them an envelope or accept an envelope from them when you're the prosecutor. You're a police officer. You can work undercover. Prosecutor's not supposed to do that. Now, as for this, Prosecutor Cruel is no longer on this case. R. Kelly's federal trial is set to start August 15th right here in Chicago. He faces federal charges for producing child pornography, luring minors into sex acts, and also obstruction of justice based on his trial that happened back in 2008. Live in Studio 32, I'm Tia Ewing.